Hey guys, so for story time today, we're going to be reading two stories because they're both kind of short and I wanted to make sure that we got some good time in on story time. So we're gonna be reading The Mixed Up Chameleon by Eric Carl, And then we will be reading The Wizard of Oz based on the book by L. Frank Baum. All right, I hope you and guys you guys enjoy our story today. And here it is. The Mixed Up Chameleon by Eric Carl. On a shiny green leaf sat a small green chameleon. It moved onto a brown tree and turned brownish. Then it rested on a red flower and turned reddish. When the chameleon moved slowly across the yellow sand, it turned yellowish. You could hardly see it. When the chameleon was warm and had something to eat, it turned sparkling green. When it was cold and hungry, it turned gray and dull. Can you point to the green chameleon? How about the gray? When the chameleon was hungry, it sat still and waited. Only its eyes moved up, down, sideways, until it spotted a fly. Then the chameleon's long and sticky tongue shot out and caught the fly. That was its life. It was not very exciting. But one day, the chameleon saw a zoo, and it had never seen so many beautiful animals. The chameleon thought, how small I am, how slow, how weak. I wish I could be big and white like a polar bear. And the chameleon's wish came true. But was it happy? No. I wish I could be handsome like a flamingo. I wish I could be smart like a fox. I wish I could swim like a fish. I wish I could run like a deer. I wish I could see things far away like a giraffe. I wish I could hide in a shell like a turtle. I wish I could be, a, be strong like an elephant. I wish I could be funny like a seal. I wish I could be like people. Just then, a fly flew by. The chameleon was very hungry, but the chameleon was very mixed up. It was a little of this and it was a little of that and it couldn't catch the fly. I wish I could be myself. The chameleon's wish came true and it caught the fly. The End The Wizard of Oz, based on the book by L. Frank Baum. This is Dorothy, and this is her little dog, Toto. Dorothy lives on a farm with her Uncle Henry and Aunt Em. One day, a vicious cyclone whirls through their home and carries Dorothy and Toto to the land of Oz. They're greeted by the Good Witch of the North. She gives Dorothy a special pair of shoes and tells her to Follow the yellow brick road to the Emerald City where the great Wizard of Oz will help her find a way home. On the way, Dorothy meets a scarecrow, a tin woodman, and a cowardly lion. Scarecrow saying, I want a brain. The tin man, well, tin woodman, I long for a heart. And the lion is saying, I wish I had some courage. Dorothy says, we are on our way to the Emerald City to see the Great Oz. The Wicked Witch of the West tries to stop them, but Dorothy outsmarts her. She says, in a minute, I shall melt away. What color is the Wicked Witch? She's green. 
When they reach the Emerald City, the wonderful wizard grants them each a gift. A brain for the scarecrow. I feel wise indeed. A heart for the tin woodman. Isn't it a beauty? And courage for the cowardly lion. How do you feel now? Full of courage. The wizard tells Dorothy to click her shoes together three times and shout, Take me home to Aunt Em. In a flash, she and Toto are back on the farm once more. The end.